relax into it, soft elbows. If you want to be a fit bitch, you got to train. You got to train as well. Getting better than Harley at this now. Yeah. Hello, little fat bats. It's that time of day again. Yes, it is. It's breakfast. And you have to listen to my voice, you poor things. So we have the fruit platter here. We have this beautiful fruit platter. We've got mangoes, passion fruit. We've got some jackfruit in the middle. And this is going to be demolished very, very quickly. I cannot wait. So sorry to make you fruit bats jealous. I wish you all here to share some with me. Actually, no, I don't. But hey, it's a nice thought. Hey, fruit bats. It's a little bit windy here. Me and little bitch Mixie are going for a walk. And I was thinking about the whole diet industry and how fucked up it is. You know, these 1,200 calorie a day diets are just so insane. I came from doing those. I was doing those for years. I thought that was the way that I had to eat in order to get to that body that I desire. And now I've got a lean, fit, healthy body and I'm eating like on average over 2,500 calories per day. So it's just, it irritates me so much because I see so many people, so many girls starving themselves trying to get results on these 1,200 calorie a day diets. And yes, okay, if you do 1,200 calories a day for like 30 days for six weeks, like you see some of these programs like Michelle Bridges, you do 1,200 calories a day for that long, yes, you're gonna lose weight. But guess what? You're losing your hydration. You are losing your hydration. That important water in your body is going down the toilet. So you don't actually want to lose that weight. And you know what? That weight comes right back on. And you want that water weight. You want to hold that water weight, the healthy weight. Of course, you lose some water weight when you give up salty foods, you reduce um, the salt in your diet. But if it's through calorie restriction, it is such a bad thing because you are restricting your carbs, restricting your calories, and that means water loss on the scale. So you're like, you see the scales and you're like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, I nearly broke my foot. Oh my God, I am losing weight. Life is good. You know, because in your mind, that is the only thing you care about. You're like, wait, I just want to get the fat off my thighs. I want to get the fat off my butt, off my gut, off my arms. I just want to be lean. Why is this not happening for me? I'm so desperate. Just give me the answer. I've seen some people comment that they would, they feel like killing themselves because of their weight. And that is fucked up. What sort of society are we living in where we're gonna do all sorts of nasty shit to our bodies, to our minds, to our souls in order to get some aesthetic look, you know, to get a skinny, fat, unhealthy, metabolically damaged body. That sucks. And you know, the reason I show my body is because I'm eating a shit ton of calories. I'm eating as much as I want. I'm enjoying fucking life. I'm enjoying life so much. And I wanna show all you girls out there how to do it as well. And some of you might initially gain a little bit of weight, but as I said, that's, you know, you're coming from a past of doing shit to your body. And you might be like, no, I didn't do much to my body. Uh uh. You would be surprised at how much damage you have done. If you've eaten meat in the past, you've done damage to your body. If you've ever gone on any sort of diet in the past, you have done damage to your body. So you've got to expect some healing, like phase. It may take a couple of weeks, it may take a couple of months, it may take a couple of years. For me, it took a couple of years for my body to balance out and to trust me again. My body's like, bitch, are we going to be in a famine again? Are we going to be starving? Are we going to be binging? Are we going to be purging? Or are we going to be eating and enjoying food and actually eating the right nourishing food for once? And when I started to do that, my brain, my body, everything started to shift. I became, became happier up here. You need to take care of up here. If you're not fucking happy up here, it's going to translate into your body. You're not going to be a lean, fit, healthy person if up here you're just obsessed with the number on the scales. So you get obsessed with becoming the fittest, healthiest person you know. Now that's a good fucking obsession. And I might be fucking swearing a lot, but because I'm just, I'm passionate about this. And I'm so sick of women being taken for a ride by these stupid 1200 calorie, 1400 calorie, 1800 calorie, you know, anything under 2000 calories, that's starvation. The World Health Organization says anything under 2100 calories per day is entering into famine. 
starvation. So don't do that to yourself. Every time you do, you set your results back further. You damage your metabolism. And some people are like, oh, metabolic damage, that's not true. Ha! <laughs> Bullshit, of course it's true. You can't get away with starving yourself for years. You can't get away with spewing up. You can't get away with taking weight loss drugs. And it all just turn around when you feel like it, when the ego says, all right, I wanna get skinny now. I'm ready to be healed, heal me. That's not how it works. You gotta pay the debt back. Okay, you've gotta pay your dues. You gotta work for your results. So get obsessed with becoming fit. And some people are like, oh, you just exercise all the time. No, I don't. I sit on my fucking ass most of the time. So it's not about that. Okay, it's about just being balanced in your approach and being patient. Okay, it didn't take you overnight. It didn't take you a couple of weeks, a couple of months, or probably even a couple of years to get to where you are right now. Did it? Be honest with yourself now. How long have you been abusing your body? How long have you been eating incorrectly, living incorrectly, dieting? Just write it down on a piece of paper now. How many years? Get real with yourself. Don't blame fruits and veggies. You know, if you gain a little bit of weight, embrace that because that's part of your healing journey. Your body needs that extra weight in order to heal your metabolism properly. You gotta trust in that. I've been on this lifestyle eight years. As you can see, I'm lean, fit and healthy. I eat all that I care for, and it's generally around 2,500 to 3,500. On average, always over 2,500. And you know what? You don't have to eat 2,500. You can eat 2,000. I'm happy for people to eat 2,000 if they want to. I mean, you can do that. We only give recommendations because we know what works from thousands of coaching thousands of people. But you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can eat 2,000. But so my camera just died then. So anyway, as I was saying, if you want to eat 2,000 calories a day, you can do that. But I don't re recommend anything below 2,000 calories. And for a lot of you, you're going to need, you know, a shit ton more than 2,000. But just remember, we're just giving recommendations. If you want to eat less, go for it. But remember, you're going to get cravings if you're not meeting your needs. And you're going to go for more fat, less carbs. And you're just not going to feel as vibrant. And you're not going to feel like exercising because fitness is an important part of any lifestyle so you got to do it so you don't turn into a skinny fat starved nut job who's just like Woo, off with the fairies all the time and unhappy and really volatile ah oh, fuck that you want to be like balanced and happy and inspiring to people you know okay so the camera just turned off and it's about to rain on us so i'm just going to be really quick with this look just eat as many calories as you care for. If you start getting cravings, you're gonna know you're not eating enough. Eat as many calories as you want to sustain the lifestyle that you wish to lead. If you wanna be vibrant, energetic, inspiring to others, then pack them in. You know, eat as much as you care for, don't restrict. Am I saying you have to stuff yourself until you spew and blah? No, I'm not saying that, and that is impossible anyway. We all eat as much as we care for, we love to eat. And you know, some people think, oh no, if I put on a bit of weight, it's not working. No, that's not true. You need to get through that period of healing. It's very, very important to your progress. So I'm thinking I'm gonna develop some sort of 30 day, six week, raw to four program, you know, with food diaries and inspiration and recipes and a food plan and like a, um, I just said that, and some sort of like vision booking, all that sort of stuff and put it out there because we need to compete with this, these bullshit 1200 calorie a day diets. We need to knock them out because these people are taking advantage of you guys, fully taking advantage of you because they know that, okay, for six weeks, you, are, you may, maybe you will stick to it, the 1200 calories a day, and you will lose weight. As I said, you'll lose water weight and you're like, oh shit, this is working. But then you know what? A big old binge creeps up, taps you on the shoulder and says, let's fucking eat, let's eat. And you know what? You just go crazy. You eat everything in sight. You can't pack enough food in fast enough. You know you've been there, I've been there, and that's what happens. And you gain it all back plus some and metabolic damage, and you slow your metabolism. And you know what these programs want you to feel like? A failure. Not to blame their program, but to actually blame yourself. So you say, I'm not disciplined enough. I'm shit, I'm hopeless, why don't I have this discipline? Why am I so weak? You're not weak, you're fucking starving. Your metabolism is being lowered, your, your vitality is being damaged. You're just hungry, okay? Everyone's gonna be hungry on 1200 calories a day, a child needs more than 1200 calories a day. So don't blame yourself.